Welcome back to another episode of MacBreak Studio. We're looking at motion, specifically motion templates. Uh, Mark has this great trick he's going to show you for basically locking editors, giving, <laughs> locking them out of messing with your motion templates, right? Right. I mean, when, you, when you're working with other people in a creative endeavor, everybody sort of wants their area of control of what they're responsible for. And motion designers, um, when they hand off templates to editors, especially when you're making templates for Final Cut Pro 10, there's certain things that the editor should be able to change, like uh, the text in there and things, and maybe some colors, but there's certain things that the motion designer wants to control because they're part of the design. Or yeah, like if you work in a broadcast facility, you can't change the color of like the logo background. Right, it would, it would be terrible. You don't want the editors doing that. So um, th this tip is sort of or targeted towards folks or organizations where the, the person who's doing the creative design of the templates in motion for Final Cut is separate from the editor who's using the templates. Right. Okay. So, so there's a separate department: graphics and editorial. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But this could be useful for other people too. So I'm you wouldn't lock myself things. out of my own templates. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't trust myself. Uh, so, I'm sorry. so here I'm gonna, as it. an example, I have <laughs> I'm in the t I'm in the titles browser. Mm, right. I'm in a category I've created of some of my own lower thirds. Right. Uh, I'm going to press the X key over this clip. I'm going to select this simple lower third and press the C key to connect it as a connected. Sorry, I'm going to I'm going to press C to select that. Press this. Press Q. Yeah, I'm learning. <laughs> you need to press X. I'm forgetting I think you, you all need of my to take own a Final Cut Pro X, course. Select this, press Q. <laughs> Thank go. you. There we go. So now I have this very dull um, but very simple little um, title. Through. And what I want is I don't want the editor to be able to change the font. Okay? They have to be able to change the text because it has to say Monday at 8 or wh sure. whatever. So they have to change that. But by default, when you create titles for Final Cut Pro 10, even though you don't publish very many parameters, the text inspector is always available. It sure is. So with all the, the fonts. Final Cut editor can go in and, besides just changing this text itself to say, you know, Monday, 8 p.m., they can also go in and change the perfect font that you've set up to something else. So, yeah, uh, like Impact. Yeah. Or chalkboard. <laughs> 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 or Comic Sans. Or oh, Comic Sans. Right. So you have to be so, able to do that. So you don't want them to do that. Right. So here's, here's the yeah. trick. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to right click on this template, choose Open in Motion, and that'll launch Motion if Motion's not already running. So here I am in Motion, and here's the cool thing. I want to select this text layer. I'm going to go to the Inspector, and here in the Text Inspector, under the Format section at the bottom, there's a little checkbox, Editable in FCP. Oh, that's okay. on by default. That's on by default because 99% of the time you want a template you're designing to be editable in Final Cut. Right. Let's see what happens if you turn that off. So I'll uncheck that, Command S to save, Command W to close, Command Tab to go back to Final Cut, and I'll drag this over and replace, edit, the one that was already in there, replace from start. And it still says Monday at 8 p.m. because when you need to replace text, it, it yeah. read the text. Uh, the font went back to the standard font. And if we go to the title inspector, there's the parameters I've chosen to publish. So I give the editor the option of changing the gradient colors uh, and a few other things. You can also choose a gradient or a animated boxes in this case. But if you go to the text inspector, <laughs> there's nothing there. It's gone. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's completely gone. And in fact, right now, there is no way to change this text. If you double click, on this, normally it would, if you double click a you title, it usually highlights. You can't change the position, the, the size. Or even what it says right now. Or, okay, so right now this is too locked out. I just want to show you that by what happens by default. Because okay. now the editor can't even change this to say Tuesday. Oh, so that's no good. That's okay, good. That, that's no good. But what I can do is open this back up in motion and go back to the inspector. And at the bottom, right under the editable and FCP checkbox, is a text field. And check this out. If you move, the pointer over the end, there's a little pop-up menu, and you can publish this text field. Ah, oh, right? that's great. So I'll choose to publish it, and then I might say, you know what, I don't want them to change the font, but they might need to change the size. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this little pop-up menu, and I'm going to choose to publish the size of the text. And if they change the size, they might need to move it around. Okay, whatever. I'll let them, you know. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll publish the offset as well. So I'll go to the project in the layers list here and just confirm that I've now published these parameters. Save, Command W to close, Command Tab back to Final Cut. 
I'll drag back and this you have to do this it only updates the version in the browser so I need to do a replace edit replace from start and it looks exactly the same however if I double click Again, it doesn't highlight because you, you, the disadvantage is you can no longer type directly in the viewer. Normally, you no can more change. No more on screen control. No more on screen control. However, um, it's not that difficult. If you go to the title, Text Inspector is still empty. It's going to be empty because of that checkbox. Right. But if we go to the Title Inspector where our published parameters are, there is my text. So I can change Monday to say Tuesday uh -huh. and it will update. And in this case, I also said, hey, I want to be able to change the size and maybe I want to allow them to move it left or right or up or down, so you can choose, basically the message is you can decide how much to disclose to the editor so that you can keep design elements intact the way that you want, and you can also avoid overwhelming the editor with way more parameters than they might want to have. Like, hey, I just, I don't, I don't want to deal with all that stuff. Right. But this way, the font that I've chosen is going to stay there, and it's I know locked. when it airs, it's going to be correct. Yeah, I wouldn't even give it size choice. Yeah, and forget <laughs> it. Yeah. You know, well, you, that's the size it yeah, is. Yeah. Cause it, cause Just be... change the words and go, move on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's a fantastic tip. All right. I, I really, really like it. So if you want more motion training, we have the best there is. And I'm not using hyperbole. We have awesome motion training at rippletrain.com. Check it out. Um, you want to follow us on Facebook and like us on Twitter, or the opposite of what I just said. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, and, anyway, I also want to check out our YouTube channel where we're posting new content daily, or weekly, I should say, with a lot of content up there. And we want to thank you again for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio. See you next time.